Thanks very much, Paul. Um, we, I'm here to talk to you today about ophthalmology. That's uh, the delivery of products to eye surgeons globally. We're addressing, our company addresses the leading two leading causes of blindness in the world. And as such, we consider to have to be preserving one of the most valuable assets in the world, and that's our eyesight. Next slide. Uh, our disclaimer there includes the anatomy of the eye very briefly. The front of the eye, we have the lens and the cornea, which uh, along which contains the eye's irrigation system. At the back of the eye, we have the retina. The, the front of the eye focuses light to the back of the eye, and the retina sends the signals to the brain, uh, the light signals to the brain. Um, there's disease. We, we, our business has dis, uh, works on diseases of the retina, the back, and on the front. Next slide. So uh, the snapshot of our business, as I said, those two leading causes of blindness in the world. One is glaucoma and one is age-related macular degeneration. We're here today to talk about glaucoma, where we have a uh, business uh, generating revenues. Our um, project earlier stage, um, potential therapy for a very large market in macular degeneration. Uh, next slide. This, this uh, is a bit of corporate information. Our market cap is 42 million. Um, we are here today to talk about the opportunity in glaucoma that we announced and, and just around the beginning of April. You can see, this is interesting, the increase in share trading volume. That uh, was um, as a result of the announcement of approval by, of a new device to service our large American market or our main market, which is the United States as well as the, a raise of capital to exploit that. So we have a, a, a nominally um, 11 million. We raised 8 million uh, at the beginning of March uh, and we are attracting uh, in order to exploit the opportunity we now have in the United States, which is what I want to talk to you to, about today. Next slide. Um, our glaucoma opportunity, um, we are... The, the glaucoma has typically been treated with drops. A, a company that, a, a person who was first diagnosed with um, glaucoma is said, let's uh, go on to, uh, to have drops. The emerging uh, market that we are uh, attacking, um, um, getting into is for surgical intervention earlier in the disease. Our new product, iTrack Advance, is a device just approved which allows us to access the eye's irrigation system. Um, let me talk a little bit about the disease to make that more clear on the next slide. Glaucoma is a failure of the plumbing in the eye. It's the ocular irrigation system at the front of the eye which circulates nutrients with age and time, and we're talking about patients 40 years and over, or as young as 40, but uh, obviously the incidence increases with age, blockages occur in that irrigation system at the front of the eye. This crushes the optic nerve, that pressure builds and untreated, um, crushes the optic nerve and patients lose their sight, usually commencing with peripheral vision. It's painless, uh, asymptomatic as they say, uh, and the first signs are usually a loss of uh, peripheral vision. So it's it's quite insidious, and it's why uh, anyone that goes to any optometrist now will uh, often get that little puff of puff in the eye to check your eye pressure, uh, and that's a, a critical screening because without it, there'll be no pain, and suddenly you'll be you will have glaucoma. Next slide. So as I mentioned, the traditional treatment for um, patients prescribed with drops it is to have them prescribed with drops, which you may say, well, that's pretty nice. I could just take drops every day. But somebody who's 40 or 50 and is, they've still got 30 or 40 years of, of, of on this earth, um, that's actually hard. And it's proven, it is a, it is a clinical fact that patient adherence to taking those medications is very poor. They start taking them, lose interest. And we're talking about taking drops, putting drops in your eye every day. The actual ability of an older person to take drops and put drops in the right part of your eye is also difficult. The eye, this has spawned 
um, are earlier minimally invasive surgical interventions which aim to reduce that pressure without the need for daily drops or to reduce the need for daily drops. Nova Eye, headquartered here in Adelaide, is a key player in that global minimally invasive glaucoma surgery market and is with its industry-leading canal capacity device. Next slide. This uh, describes the market, uh, 140 million people with glaucoma. Uh, we value, or it has been valued, that the surgical intervention part of it uh, is about 600 uh, million US dollars right now and growing at 15%. Um, it's only a small subset of the total glaucoma market of 6 billion, which includes all those drugs. So we see a, a very, very strong landscape. And as one of the uh, top three companies in the world in this space, we think we have a very good opportunity. Next, uh, next slide. Um, even though we're a small company here in Adelaide, we have a reasonably good um, geographic footprint across the world. Our major business is in the United States, where we have an established scalable direct sales team, um, sales people working directly for us, not using any third-party distributor. We have our manufacturing of one of our devices in Fremont in the San Francisco Bay Area, and we handle all the delivery and sales administration. In Germany, we sell our devices directly to doctors. Uh, in Europe, we use some third-party distributor partners. And in China, we have um, a, a well-heeled third-party distributor who we've been working with for many years. The China opportunity is very large considering the aging, the, the nature of the aging population in China, currently relatively small and growing fast. And so we're excited about that opportunity in China. We have all our approvals and currently selling into China. In New Zealand, we have a manufacturing facility approved by the FDA for one of our other, for our other glaucoma product. And in Australia, we have our product development and corporate strategy, corporate marketing uh, and regulatory strategy business. Next slide. Um, this is a picture of the device we call iTrack Advance, which was approved um, on the 1st of April 2023 and for which we raised money a few days earlier. It is a, um, a catheter uh, that is, um, has three parts, a light, a pipe, and a, 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 a wire functionally. That slider on the top, that handpiece, at the, uh, the, is a pencil-like handpiece that enables the doctor to move his or her finger or thumb to gently move that catheter through the canal of Schlem. If the next slide describes that a little more. Um, so the canal of Schlem runs around the coloured part of your eye. So that 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 shows perspective of the size of the size of the device in the doctor's hand. We insert it into that canal of Schlem through a simple minimally invasive surgical um, site. We push with that slider around the canal, and then we uh, the, you can see the light there shows where it is. The doctor can see the light through the microscope. We then gently withdraw the catheter uh, and infuse what's essentially biocompatible hydraulic fluid to flush the canal. You can see there that we are, um, uh, it's a bit hard to see that picture, but the flushing effect flush into the canal and uh, um, creates, removes the blockages. So there's two methods of action. There's the passage of the canal through um, that, um, the passage of the catheter through the canal and then the flushing. It's grossly stated, it's like clearing the leaves from your gutter and then flushing it with the hose. More sophisticated, it's very much angioplasty of the eye. Nothing is left behind. We leave the eye's natural systems then to start working again that had been failed due to these blockages. Our next slide. This is one of our customers, a Texas doctor. Um, she has just uh, purchased some. Uh, this is a photograph taken during the month of April when we're making our first sales. And there she is on the microscope. In her hand is the, um, uh, the device being gently inserted into that canal. 
Next slide. So currently we have a, a version of the iTrack technology which is generating, well, we're accessing about 200 patients. Importantly, in the US, that's about six and a half million US dollars of revenue. With this new track, iTrack Advance, which has uh, improved the ability to uh, get with which uh, the handpiece, the handpiece and the slider, we see this becoming more appealing to a larger uh, group of glaucoma surgeons. Um, we, we, there's about 1,300 that we're now targeting. That's literally now um, in, in the United States. In due time, we will then access the larger market again of those that are doing cataract operations. Cataract operations are the world's largest operation, most common operation, and it's a clinical fact that 20% of people who need a cataract operation, and that's usually a function of age, also have glaucoma. And so we, we are um, accessing those. Uh, we will progressively access that market. Next slide. So to finalise, um, we have a, a good product participating in the consumable surgical device market. It's the, one of the fastest growing market, or is the fastest growing market in ophthalmology. It's fast growing in absolute sense too. We have a best in class eye track advance approved for sale in the USA. We have a, a sales team in place. We have revenues at the moment of about 15 million Australian dollars, 10 million US dollars. And we're well positioned now with the cash on hand to roll our new eye track advance product into the US market for significant sales growth. Thanks, Paul. Tom, thanks very much. That was a very, very uh, uh, interesting presentation. Uh, much appreciated. Got a few questions uh, uh, here for you, uh, Tom. Um, quick one here. Uh, when will the company provide further clarity on sales of iTrack? So, I mean, obviously our obligation is to report at least every six months. Um, historically, we've also given updates every uh, annual general meeting in, in November. Um, we we will. It's currently May the whatever it is twentieth, and we will uh, our next date reporting date will be thirty June. We have only just released the product, of course, in the United States, which is our largest market. So we see a very important reporting date will be the results to thirty one December, um, and we'll we'll keep our we'll keep our shareholders informed if we have um, uh, in, if we have things that we believe need to be. Uh, release. Yeah, totally understand. And just on the same sort of track, uh, are you expecting significant sales activity in Europe as well now that iTrack is available in more places? Um, and we have a heavy investment in the US um, and it, US is our primary market. We do have sales that we have had so far achieved some sales growth in the United States, but in absolute terms, it, it, um, it, it do, it's not as material as to the US. We've, um, we released it first in Europe. We've achieved some sales growth, but we're more excited at the moment about the US. Yeah, no, here. And just one last one. Uh, how is iTrack advanced technology different to your competitors? What competitive advantage will the new product yeah. give you? So um, dilating the catheter, if we, if we just go back to that, if we can just quickly go back to the slide of the light going through around the colored part of the eye. So if we look at that, um, our technology transcend, uh, well, uh, goes around 360 degrees of the canal. Our competitive technology only is 180. Our catheter is lighted, which gives the doctor um, the un understanding of where the catheter is in the canal. Our competitor, uh, a, a surgeon using our competitors is guessing as to where it is. Um, and the third one is we have um, uh, inject high volume of viscoelastic or biocompatible hydraulic fluid, um, which serves to flush the canal more thoroughly than our competitor. The, our, our, our technology um, is protected by about 100 patents. Um, so we feel like we have a very strong intellectual property position and competitive position. Uh, that will serve us well as we roll it out in the US. Thanks. 
Thanks, Tom. That's a really, really interesting uh, story. We'll be following it closely and hopefully we'll get okay. you back uh, back soon. Many thanks. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Paul.